Hey everybody, my name is Daryl Bear, and today we're going to be talking about moving vertices inside of Maya. I had a new user um, hit me up on the YouTube channel asking about moving components numerically, and they were having a hard time trying to trying to get an elegant way of doing it. So I'm going to show you a few different ways of doing it. Keep in mind that everything in Maya is is really scripting, right? So it's really simple to take the out of the box tools and reconfigure them to do what you want. I'm pretty sure that there's several scripts that other people have made for vertice nudging tools that are available. Um, I'd start looking maybe on Creative Crowl if um, if I didn't feel like building one myself. But with that said, out of the box, Maya provides you several different places where you can interact with vertices and um, have kind of different functionality associated with the way you're, you're doing it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, the first way to do it is obviously just to grab your vert, hit into the move tool with your W key and you move this around and you're going to get a numerical input down here of, of where that vert's being moved. If you wanted to do it numerically, for some reason, you can always just jump up to this window and switch it to be either relative or absolute. So if we go into relative, it's going to take its current position and add to that. So in this example, if I wanted to move my vert that's currently selected up 10 units, I could just hit zero tab 10 into Y, zero, hit the return key, it moves it up. Um, another thing that we could do is, is absolute movements, right? So we could do an absolute movement on this guy. I'm going to put this, this vert right here at the origin. So instead of being relative, we'll do absolute. We'll just say zero, tab, zero, tab, zero, and hit the return key. And just like that, we've now moved that vert to the origin. Keep in mind that all of these vert movements that we've done, if you click on the, uh, if you grab the vertices, and you look in your channel box, there's this click to show. So if you click the click to show, this is gonna show you the deviation these vertices have from their original position. So if you wanna get this object back to its original position, you can just put zeros into all these tabs. And just like that, I've undone that tweak or that modification of that vertices transformation from its original position. So you know, at any time you can grab these verts, click to show those guys inside of there. Pretty straightforward. Another way of doing this is to actually just use Mel to move it, right? Everything we're doing here in the user interface really is underneath it all, just driving mouse. So the mel command for move is, well, it's pretty straightforward. It's move, right? So if I want to move this vertice up 10 units in Y, we'll just say move, dash R for relative, zero space, 10 space, zero, hit the return key, enter key, and just like that, we've now moved that vert up 10 units. Another way of, of, of moving vertices is to bring up the component editor. So if you go to your Windows, General Editors, Component Editor, inside the Component Editor, click on the Polygon tab, which I've already got highlighted there, and then just add to your selection some verts. So with that done, this is a really easy way of shifting lots of vertices together, You know, taking their current position and adding some values to it. So I can take their current position and then just jump down right down to this tab right here, hold my Control key and just start dragging. With my left mouse button will give me small movements, the middle mouse button in Maya will give me slightly larger movements, and the right mouse button will give me very large movements. So at any given time, if you want to move a grouping of vertices together and just add information to them or subtract information to them, you can do it here. Or if you want to just modify an individual vertice, Again, you can just you know grab that value and modify just that one vert. Um, so it's all um, pretty straightforward. And I think most of this stuff's been in Maya. Um, I don't think this is anything new that's to Maya extension. I think all of this is actually going back to, to version one of Maya. This is all pretty, uh, pretty old, pretty basic stuff. All right, so the next thing that we want to talk about is moving vertices and having history associated with that move. And you do that with the transform components. So if, let's say I wanted to, to have those those translations or those those movements or those modifications of those verts actually recorded in the history of the object. Well, again, that's all pretty straightforward. You just grab the vert and instead of just manually, um, oops, instead of moving it around directly, just just show um, just shove onto that guy a transform component first. So go to Edit Mesh Transform Component. So now that we've done that, you you'll see that there's an actual input on this guy. So if we move that around here, you'll get your local your local movement your local translation, and then obviously that is going to be a piece of history that lives inside of Maya. All, all right there. So if you didn't, you know, you didn't like that and you wanted to get rid of it, you can obviously just go in there to that move poly, select it in your attribute editor and just hit hit the uh, hit the delete key and just like that we've we removed that object from the the history of of your uh, of your piece of geometry. So that's pretty straightforward stuff. Like I said before, that move command is is really easy to enter into. If you were trying to maybe make a script that wanted to compare vertices to another object, you know, it'd be pretty easy to query the object from the current vertice and build a little UI to do something like that. And as I said before, I, I'm pretty sure that there's some tools out there that other people have already written that, that do a lot of things like that just with a couple lines of Mel code. So that's the out-of-the-box tools inside of Maya for working with vertice movement or component movement. 
hopefully uh hopefully that's useful to you guys cheers thanks for again for uh for checking out maya mondays i really appreciate it